Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Revlon new and improved power of a dryer, volume of a styler, salon one-step dryer and volumizer. Basically, the Revlon dry brush. I just ordered this. It has been causing a lot of grief for a lot of people. It has been breaking off people's hair. I was recommending it to so many of my clients and everyone was loving it. They're like, oh my God, it gives me the best blowout ever. And I was like, yeah get the Revlon. And um, recently we've been realizing that it has been ruining people's hair. It's overheating and it's really frying and breaking your hair. So today we're going to be testing out this lovely Revlon brush on my mannequin. I hope I don't ruin her hair. I think overuse is going to ruin the hair, but let's go ahead and try it. God, this is massive. That would not work for my hair. My hair is too little for this. So I was gonna try it on myself, but I don't wanna hurt my hair. Okay, so there's only low and high heat. There's no medium heat. I think this is the problem is that no one wants low heat. Everyone's going to the high heat. But I think if there was a medium, we wouldn't have so much broken hair. Okay, this is scorching hot. This is like flat iron hot. Now I can see why the hair is breaking. It's really, really, really hot. I thought it rotated. I guess it doesn't, but it's still not smooth enough. So I still have to go over these pieces a little bit more. That is really hot, really, really flat iron hot. And I think what's happening is a lot of us wanna just like remove the frizz. So we're going through the hair many more times than we have to. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna test my Gamma hair dryer, which I did a review about in another video, which I will link down below if it's not ready yet. And I'm gonna do another piece and I'm gonna see like how hot it feels. This feels a lot warmer. This was the Revlon, this was my Gamma, and you can't even see a difference. It's very smooth and the heat is normal. It's actually feels, it actually feels warm. And the thing is with a hairdryer, you can always, you can always control how much heat you're applying and where you're applying the heat. Whereas with the Revlon, it's taking that heat all over the hair on even areas that you don't even need. So I'm all for using a really good hair dryer to give you that smooth, sleek effect without the heat. Like I can still run my fingers through this. Whereas with this one, it just literally felt like the hair was scorching hot. I was gonna do the other side with wet hair, but I don't think I need to. I think this gives me enough of a good reference and idea of what is going to, what is doing to the hair and uh, what you guys should be doing. So that first half is the Revlon and this half is using my hair dryer, the Gamma the professional gamma and it feels smooth it's warm it's not hot and not scorching hot so you can't really control the heat with the Revlon round brush you can't control the airflow like you can't control how much heat is being applied to the hair at what direction and so whenever you're using a hair dryer you can actually control where the heat is going so maybe you want to add a little bit more on the roots and less down here and if you were to do that to your hair every single day oh my god your hair would be completely fried it's like putting your hair in an oven it's like running the flat iron through it a million times it really doesn't need that much heat I would much rather you guys use a round brush and a hair dryer and the round brush that I was using is this one this is Olivia Garden nanothermic ceramic and ion this is the best the best round brush I've ever used it's really really good quality I've had it for so many years and I like how it creates a lot of volume in the hair and I like that the bristles have this really cool kind of tendril effect um, they're very squiggly so it actually gives a lot more tension to the hair in comparison to other brushes that I've used and they're longer so they actually grab onto the hair really well and what you need when you're doing something like this is a lot of tension which is why the Revlon round brush has so many of those little plastic 
like kind of synthetic hairs in there because it really needs to grab the hair. I find this one is just wonderful and you can get this in different sizes. So if you have more hair, you can get a larger brush. This I just like to use for curtain bangs or just like to really create curls in the hair as I'm blow drying. But this was created to compete with the Dyson Airwrap. There was a reason they came out with this. They're like, oh, you know, Dyson is very, very expensive. So Revlon's like, let's make one for like $60 for everyone who can't afford a Dyson. But you know, you get what you pay for. And I think when you're going that cheap on hair products or hair tools, there's a price you're gonna have to pay. And it's just, I find it actually pretty quite heavy. Like I would not use this for myself. I think it's too heavy. I would much rather just use a round brush, which actually feels a lot lighter in my hand and a lightweight hair dryer like the Gamma. So I will link all of that below. If you guys have any questions or if you have any feedback about the Revlon dry brush, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do offer that as well. Make sure you email me. Everything will be below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.